Dr. Young did mention the key phrase, we are trying to do our best. Respectfully, many Malaysians who have read mainstream media is saying, well, your best is not good enough. You've got to do better. So my question is, because we are talking about reporting of ethno-religious issues, the stakes are much higher. Thus the question, should reporters work reporting on race and religion issues? Should they be held to a higher ethical standard beyond the principles of reporting fairly and accurately? Back to what uh, Maria was saying, all about education, all about maturity. Uh, the majority of Malaysians read it, but it's yet, you know. So I think a lot has got to be done in terms of education so that people will be empowered, people will be armed with information so they make very judicious judgments, uh, balanced judgments and all that. So as far as the ethno-religious reporting is concerned, we can only move positively to that direction if we have an audience that is mature enough to accept whatever that is going to be written. But if the audience is not ready yet, then you can actually see ripples which may turn into waves to say that, hey, this guy is out of line. What is he trying to do? We don't like this pointing after us, you know. So, so when when you want this ideal situation to arrive, then he has got to work both ways: education for the journalists, education for the audience. If not, then uh, some guys will be well connected may say uh, this guy is trying to incite certain things a rebel rouser and so, on. so i think the level of maturity has yet to arrive for for greater uh, reporting on this ethno-religious uh, matters on a more authentic level we but that again that should not stop journalists from trying to actually provide a balanced view because this is a multi-cultural, multi-racial nation and we have got to be alive and sensitive to the various communities in this country. So what I'm saying is that they should come to a level of greater understanding in time to come but without an education that level won't be reached. Thank you. Um, yeah, definitely. I think given the, the, the sensi sen sen sensitivity of the issues of race, ethnicity, and religion, uh, I think generally should be reporting these issues. The, the gold standard of journalism. Uh, I don't think there's any specific uh, issues when it comes to reporting on religions. Basically, what we have to do is just report them in a way we would report other issues professionally. But I think the additional uh, aspect would be wisdom, uh, given that what you report could actually uh, inflame uh, the tensions and conflicts. But uh, so this is where uh, training is very important, because the, more, the majority of uh, newsrooms, I'm, I know in Indonesia, but I'm sure also it happens in other parts of the world, just try to ignore religion completely even though they know that religion is very much an important part of the life of the people. So it is time that we have to change that and, and then start reporting religion, uh, diligently, but also professionally. And I think in that way, I think journalists uh, don't, report general, uh, sorry, don't report religions only when there are conflicts or tensions. Report them throughout, even when, the, when they are in peace. Report them about the different religious communities in your uh, religious, uh, people, uh, religious religion in your community and bridge that, you know, be the bridge that brings the understanding between the religious communities. And I think that, I think the media would be, uh, would be very much part of the solution and not part of the problem, even when the tension has uh, started to arrive. I just second 
uh, what our panelists have already said. Um, it is about uh, education. I think it's hard to educate an entire society that's part of government's job um, and, and the private sector as well. But one of the ways you educate a society is through the journalism it consumes. And so, like Andy, I think we have to train our journalists. Um, and that's what we've been trying to do for the last 25 years through the region. Uh, the challenge there, of course, is it's not just education, it's also courage. Uh, the journalists have to have the courage, and they have to feel that that is part of their purpose for being journalists. You're never going to get rich being a journalist. Um, if you take that first bribe, though, that changes everything else, right? So these are things in, within the journalists' communities. In the Philippines, we're trying to have a crowdsource reporting of journalists who are corrupt. Um, it's very interesting, but I won't go there anymore. I guess I'm, st I'm saying it still goes back to the standards and ethics of journalists, the training that does need to happen, but I don't think that that training for religious issues is any different from the training that you have for politics. It is just developing the sensitivity and realizing that you cannot be emotional about this emotional topic. It, this is, it's, it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's viscous, it's in your gut. Religion is prime to all of us, uh, just like power is to the people in power, right? So I think it's a matter of understanding that it takes courage because if you do not report that this group is being intimidated or harassed by this group, it will blow up. And that is your society and you don't want to see that happen. 